Hello everyone, welcome back to Foxtech. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can restrict deleting apps on your iPhone. If you are trying to prevent apps from being removed, especially if you have kids using your device, for example, this guide is for you. I will walk you through the steps to achieve this, so let's get started. Firstly, I understand what you're aiming to do. The closest that iOS allows for this is using screen time and content and privacy restrictions to disallow the installation or removal of apps. While this feature doesn't specifically target app deletion alone, it does prevent any changes to apps until turned off in the settings. To begin, open the settings app on your iPhone, scroll down and tap on screen time. If you have set up the screen time, it's going to be okay. If you haven't, you'll need to follow the on-screen instructions to enable it. Once you're in the screen time settings, scroll down to find content and privacy restrictions and tap on it. Enable this section by toggling the switch at the top. Now tap on the uh, iTunes and App Store purchases or something like that. I mean, it is App Store most likely, not really iTunes anymore. But uh, tap on it and here you'll see options for installing apps, deleting apps and making in-app purchases. To restrict app deletion, tap on deleting apps and select don't allow. This setting will prevent anyone from deleting apps from your iPhone. It is a simple but effective way to control app management. Now let's talk about the allowed apps section. With Still within content and privacy restrictions, you can tap on allowed apps and here you can manage a few specific apps like Safari, FaceTime and others. Disabling any of these apps will make them disappear entirely from your home screen and the whole iPhone, which will effectively restrict their use. However, keep in mind that not all apps are included in this list, so you can restrict every app this way. Another useful feature is the App Limits section. Go back to the main screen time menu and tap on App Limits. Enable the toggle at the top, then tap Add App Limit. And this allows you to set a daily time limits for app usage, which can be particularly helpful if you want to manage how much time is spent on a certain app. If you want to control another device, for example, one used by a child, you can create an app ID specifically for children. This provides even more control over app usage and other settings. Ideally, you should do this before you set up the iPhone, but you can also do it later in the settings. So to do that, to create a child's Apple ID, tap on your name at the top of the settings menu, go to family sharing, and here you can add a new account for a child, giving you much more control over the device. And that's it for today. Hope you found this video useful. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to Foxtag, and make sure to never miss future videos in the future. Peace out. <laughs>